Hello friends, it's Brooke Sidney here, your mindset and manifestation coach coming to you today to talk all about how you all are making this too hard. You're making manifestation too hard and the law of assumption too hard. But before I get into it, I want to remind you that there are two ways to work with me, one-on-one -on -one coaching and email coaching. Both options are listed below. And there's two amazing communities of like-minded individuals also on this manifestation journey. That information is below as well. So today I want to talk to you about the fact that many of you are making manifestation and the law of assumption way too hard. The reason that I'm coming on with this video and it's somewhat of a rant is because I'm getting questions um, that are showing me that you're making it too hard. For example, I'm getting questions around um, the number of affirmations or how, all, how long or how often you should repeat them. Let's revisit what an affirmation is. An affirmation is simply a thought. It is simply a thought. And so with whatever you're trying to manifest, usually you might have some opposing thoughts. The idea here is there's really no magic formula in terms of how many affirmations to use or how long to do that. All you're simply trying to do is for the opposing thoughts that you have in an area of your life or an area related to your desire that are speaking against or going against what you want to manifest, you simply want to replace them with another thought. That's all an affirmation is. It's just a thought. And so if you find yourself continuing to have the opposing thoughts, the thoughts that go against your desire, then you need to keep affirming. It's just that simple. You affirm and you persist, which means you keep going until your manifestation is present, is here, until you believe it, until you assume that natural state. That's all affirming is. Um, whether we talk about robotic affirming, repeating affirmations, or so forth, the goal here, it's not about the technique. The goal here is to be able to replace the thoughts that are going against what you want to manifest with what you do. And to do that, especially in the beginning, to create new momentum around your new way of thinking so that you have the natural assumption. Hence, law of assumption. It becomes your natural way of thinking. That's it. Point blank, period. The second thing that I'm getting questions about um, is, you know, can I change my eye color? Can I become, you know, tall, dark, and handsome if I'm not? Can I do this? You are the creator and the operant power in your reality, in your perspective. You have the rules. You write the rules. So if in your reality, that's what you think is true, again, what you believe is going to be true is going to be true for you. It all comes down to your belief. Yes, I do know of people who have changed their nose. They've made it thinner. They've made their skin clear up, their acne. They've lost weight. Um, they've grown some inches. I have definitely heard of all of these things. It has not been something personally that I have tried to manifest. There are several people out there that talk specifically about changing your appearance. I have not done that. That has not been something that I have worried about. It was not one of my desires. Maybe I will though, maybe I will. Maybe I'll try to reverse aging. I think that would be fun. Or maybe I'll try to see if I can just lose weight through the power of my thinking. I do know that, um, a long time ago, I guess in essence I did, I didn't think of it as manifestation, but I started to take on the belief systems and to act as if I was someone even a bit thinner. Um, back in the day I used to model and so forth. And so I definitely kept bringing those type of thoughts forward when I start feeling, oh, um, you know, I'm overweight or, oh, I don't weigh what I want to or something like that. Then I have to kind of put myself back into the state of the belief system that I used to be back when I used to model and do all that. So I say all this to say that you're the king or the queen of your reality. You get to choose what gets to be true for you. So if you want to, you know, manifest a free college education, I did that. <laughs> you want to manifest grad school, I did that. You know, you want to manifest passing the bar the first time, I did that. Those were my manifestations. Those were my desires. Those are what 
the things that I wanted to be true for me in my reality. Everybody else could have all these other realities. Hey, no one passes the bar the first time. Hey, no one does this, no one does that. No one gets a free education. No one gets paid to go to school. This is all the chitter chatter. I remember when I first moved to my beach community and you know, everyone was telling me, you're not gonna be able to find you know, an apartment to rent um, that allows a dog. All this chitter chatter, all these negative beliefs, all this roaming around and I, I was like, Cancel, clear, delete. I told you guys about that. I use that method all the time. Um, no, in my environment, in my reality, in my world, it gets to work out for me. It just does because I believe it is so. That is the energy. I just gave myself goosebumps. That is the energy that you must possess for you to have the, the dreams that you want, for you to manifest your goals, for you to you know, feel good about this journey. You get to pick those desires, you do. So whether you wanna change your eye color or change your weight or change where you live, ultimately it is up to you. And so when I see these questions, I'm like, we need to talk about what manifesting is and what law of assumption is. It's not about the tricks. It's not about the tools. These are guidance. These are ways to help us get into the state of having it, of knowing that it's ours, of transforming and reprogramming our mind. But ultimately, that's what all of this is. It's where we create natural assumptions around the things that we want to have. So I'm encouraging you today to not make it complicated. Go back, revisit what is your truest, deepest, natural desire that you want to manifest and see what part of you is coming against it. What part of you is blocking it? What are your thoughts that are going against them? And simply change them. And if it's not working fast enough, that means you're focusing on the wrong thing. You're focusing on time. You're focusing on the 3D. You are focusing on the not having it. Again, go back to the beginning. What is it that you want to have? What does it look like? What thoughts do you have against it? Oppose those thoughts with new thoughts, new affirmations, same thing, and keep going. Revise and revisit. And oftentimes, if you get to the root of the way that you truly think and believe and you uproot that belief, you uproot that thought form, you uproot your old natural assumption, the deepest one in there, you will see your manifestations quantum leap because that belief about yourself, about what you're allowed to have, that is connected to all the things that you wanna manifest. That's connected to your self-concept. But see, we talk about these things because, right, there are all the different things that people wanna understand, but it ultimately boils down to one thing, your thoughts create your world, so you have to be intentional about the thoughts that you are thinking and the world you are creating, your reality that you're creating. It's honestly just that simple. So I love that you all are on this journey with me. I love that I get to give you these reminders because it's, it's needed. I can't remember how many I've needed along the way, but just know you have the power to do this. You have the power to manifest whatever it is you want. Now go do it. And for those of you that are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get all my latest videos and you like so we can share this out to more people so more people can create the realities of their dreams. And I will see you tomorrow.